Velma's here, and you can actually go watch it now. It's out on HBO Max, and you know what that means? Reviews. Not just mainstream reviews, we also get audience reviews. That's the one that I've been waiting for. I'm very excited to see what people actually think about Velma now that it's out. Because all we've had are the trailers, and that's been a story in itself. They just released a new one here, and it's now at 6,000 likes versus 106,000 dislikes. <laughs> what a story, Mark. Seriously, I think mean, this is pathetic. They also turned the comments off. Don't want to forget that one. 1. 1.6 million views 20 hours ago already ratioed into the ground which is funny. How embarrassing. <laughs> now, I want to show you this. This is a video from Josiah Rises. It's from 12 hours ago. 12 hours ago, he did a video on this, and the reviews were at 57%. 57% rotten. But now, magically, 67% fresh. 8% audience score. Oof. Ooh, that is bad. That is a bad audience score. <laughs> oh, we're going to take a look and see what people are saying about it. And I also want to point out, get ready. Because critics seem to like the show. We are now at 67% fresh. Uh, this is the kind of show critics would love. Uh, you've got characters, characters' ethnicities changed. You've got... A lot of identity politics in the show. A lot of talk about gender and sexuality. These are the kinds of shows that critics love. Even if they don't really like it, they'll love it on paper. So what's going to happen now that you see that audience score, this, this is the real rating. Dog shit. But now that the audience score is low, now get ready. Because now we're in phase two of Velma, which is damage control. So... It'll be interesting because Warner doesn't really have the money to send out gift bags, so I don't know how many of them will really double down on this, but I would expect a few of the shills to jump up and start running the review bombing narrative that they love to push constantly. Uh, it's never that the show is just dog shit. It's review bombing. Of course, the show the show is great. It's the mustest. It has to, they're just they're just istophobes. That's why that's why it's a low rating. So get ready for that. That's phase two. I don't know when that's going to kick off, but I would expect it within the week. So get ready for the damage control. That's going to be fun. And this is just going to get worse as the show goes on. Uh, we have how many episodes of this? Ten weeks of this dog shit. So get ready. Oh, no. are they? All of this comes out in January, so they're going to release. Okay, February 9th is the last episode. So, yeah, they're going to release two episodes on one day. Oh, two episodes a day is what they're doing. I see. So we've got a few weeks of this dog shit. Uh, you have two episodes right now that you can watch if you want to. Never forget that the plot is about uh, basically uh, de uh, demeaning Fred, calling him a rich white man with a small penis. Uh, that's the constant running gag of the show, apparently. At least that's what Entertainment Weekly says. Uh, that's that's what they were saying in their own damn review. So let's take a look at this. Here is the 8% score. Let's take a look and see what the audiences are saying about this. Very exciting. It feels like I'm watching a three-hour movie. Bad jokes and the characters are unbearable. They ruin them all. It is not worth suffering watching more than two episodes. Uh, someone asks, who greenlights these TV shows? A Trina T says, after two episodes, I can point out a glaring difference between this and its predecessor, Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo, I like to get high and watch. Velma, I like to get high and laugh at Mindy Keeling's stupidity. In all seriousness, I'm not finishing this show. What an astounding failure. Here's from Emmett F. Okay, so I just watched Velma, and here's my first thought. First complaint. 
It's way too predictable. Not just the mysteries, but the humor as well. We already know where every joke is going to land, which takes the laughs out of it. Jokes should surprise us. There's something about the surprise factor and humor that gives it a joke. It gives a joke its oomph. Velma is a TV show that claims to explore Scooby-Doo world, but has nothing to do with Scooby-Doo. Why did they have to use Velma, a legendary character that's already been fleshed out? I fear the reason is because the writer Kelly Kapoor from The Office subconsciously worried no one would care about the show or watch it. Her story shows a lack of creativity. Meanwhile, the show is constantly trying to remind you how creative it is. Mindy could have, should have created her own new world with brand new characters. She could have even copied the Scooby-Doo model. But to take on all of those characters and mess with who they are in such a way that's clearly aimed at pissing people off for a marketing strategy doesn't cut it. Overall, I give this show half a star because it lacks creativity, humor, and character arcs. It acts like it's teaching you morals under the guise of progressiveness, but nay, it only seeks to humiliate, humiliate everyone who isn't Mindy. That's actually a good review. You can tell this guy watched the show. A, a lot of these reviews, you can tell they watched the show, especially like this one right here from Trina. Emmett for sure watched it. Uh, and comes to the same conclusion I'm sure any of you that watch it will have, that the show is dog shit. And once again, should have created your own characters. I don't understand. Well, I do understand, but... This he's right here that the pissing people off strategy doesn't work. All it does is get you downvoted on your own trailer and a lot of negativity that doesn't create fans. For that to work, your show would actually have to be good <laughs> when people go to watch. Oh, what a pleasant surprise. But that's not what happens when they watch Mindy or Velma. What happens when they watch Velma? I should just call it Mindy. That's honestly what the show should have been called because she she literally self-inserts herself into the character. It's a self-insert. The show should be called Mindy, not Velma. <laughs> just that just popped up. So they don't wanna they don't wanna create new characters for one because they can't, because anything they create will be shit. Just like when they take established properties, it becomes shit because none of them are creative. So we get these dog shit shows that just piss people off, and it's an endless cycle because you know they're going to do this again. Now, if they baited everybody in the show, you went to watch the show and it was surprisingly good, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Guess what? That's never happened, by the way. Anytime you have a show that does marketing like this where they spit on fans and change things and really rely on that progressive push, it's always a shitty show. I've never seen one actually turn out to be good. Just watch the first two episodes, and that's valuable time that I can't get back. This is awful. Terrible writing, incredibly unfunny toilet humor, unlikable, overly stereotypical dumb characters, and just plain boring. Also, there's a point where a show being self-aware becomes intolerable, and that was in the first three minutes of this show. Absolute tripe making meta jokes doesn't make you clever. It makes you a talentless hack. Another self-insert for the narcissistic show creator. Yikes. So we'll see where things go with this. I'm really interested now in how high the critic score will take this. Only nine reviews so far. Very, very low. Almost like people are afraid to review it. That's another thing that happens. A lot of the times when you get a show this shitty, critics won't actually review it. Because if they do and they give it a bad review, they they run the risk of getting progressive backlash. Because this is a show that pushes the message. And giving it a bad plus the creator and the star is a woman of color. So you run the risk of getting called istophobe and kicked out of the little high society that they run. So you might not even see a lot of reviews on there. I expect this to rise. I think Velma lands at 80, 80%. And we'll see. The audience score, I don't see that blowing up. Uh, the audience score, I'll be honest here, the show is shit. Uh, let me know if you watched it. What were your thoughts on it? Leave those in the comments. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed at that notification bell. Check out my locals. Check out my rumble. And I'll see you on the next one.
Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.